Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Pablo, aka Pablo. Today, we're back with another Bob Plays. You guys seem to enjoy it, and I also enjoy it. It's just playing the game, which is kind of chill. So, um, today, we're going to be doing a tier 9 extravaganza, uh, or whatever, tier 9 special. I'm just going to be going from left to right through my favorite tier 9s, and we're going to play the ones that, you know, appeal to me the most. And the first one here is Alaska. I have slotted Mr. Oldendorf here. I usually have him on my Puerto Rico. Still a little bit away from crossing the T, but this is the commander build. And we're running reload, and we have steering gears and concealment. Why am I running reload and steering gears? Reload is because the Alaska's reload, in my opinion, is a little bit too long. Um, I, in fact, I actually will show you, because I can't remember. Without reload mod, you have a... Let's check that again. 13 second reload. With reload mod, you get down to 12.35, which I actually think is a good trade. The reason I take steering gear is because it is nice to be able to dodge. So, yeah, enough yapping. Let's just get right in there, man. I hope we get a good game. All right, we got a tier 8 game, guys. We look at that. <laughs> Only one bot battleship. We're pretty much the most dangerous target, at least, uh, on our team, together with the Monarch, because we're pretty much a BB once we get into tier 8 territory, at least against cruisers. So, for most of last week, I haven't been able to lock in, but through trial and error, or not trial and error, through, through brute force, actually, just re-downloading the game over and over again, I finally logged in, and I haven't, I haven't dared to log out, because I wanted to make some content for you guys as be as 7.4 is dropping very soon. And, and I think it is, you know, I've seen the update. It looks interesting. I can't tell you about it right now. But of course, when the when my video drops, you will know everything about 7.4. But it is interesting enough for me to, to want to, you know, see what it's all about. But, you know, we're not going to get our hopes up. I think getting your hopes up in, uh, in, this, in this business or as a fan of this game is, you know... It's a stupid idea. So we're, we're just going to take it chill. We're going to see what happens, man. And, um, you know, we're, we're just going to wait for Wargaming to do their thing. All right, I'm going to activate my AA here. We have the Amalfi. Oh, my God. We actually just completely dodged that. <laughs> I didn't I actually didn't know he would go for me. I thought he would go for the, uh, the Hawk. It's not a Monarch. It's a Hawk. My bad. All right, we have an Amalfi here. It's probably also a DD. There's two over there, so yeah, there must be one here. Uh, should we go for the Chungmu? It's a bot, and he's like in a duel right now, so it's almost impossible to hit. Alright, let's try this shot here. And you know what? We're gonna push this way. I'm pretty sure I can find an Amalfi and a bot Bismarck. Okay, decent hits on the Sejong. We could have used some more. Alright. Um, he's making a mega turn. Let's see, can we even hit that, please? Okay, decent damage, man. Decent damage. You can see the the Alaska here. Once you if you get down to it, man, which is the story for a lot of tier nines. Don't get me wrong. This you could say if it gets down to it, it's good <laughs> on pretty much any tier nine. But yeah, Alaska, it's it's just you really feel it because three hundred five millimeter guns with quite a fast reload. If you run the reload mod, is noticeable. At least when you have tier eight ships. All right, we didn't dodge that one. That's um. Very unfortunate, but we will be able to tank this, I think. Yeah, yeah. We're not we're not that bad. Tank wise, look at that. Half HP. Use the heal. We almost have a clear sky, so. I'm gonna retreat down behind the hawk here. We know there's a DD. We just dodged some of his torps. We did actually take a few hits, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn my guns to the other side. There's also a Sien Yang mo moving in. He's trying to get the CV. And the CV's coming for me. At least he's going to fly past the Hawk. No way, he actually changed his mind. Thank you. Makes my life a lot easier. I think I'm going to try to get away and just... Nah, this, we have to shoot this Amalfi. I wanted to just get away and heal, but... I mean, there's a CV in the game, so it's not like I'm going to have a chance to stay un you know, undetected. So let's just, let's just help the Hawk. There's the Amalfi. Let's not turn too much in because I want to be able to get away. I don't want to be pushing into them. 
Oh wait, there's a freaking Pobeda right there. Can't do nothing about him. Xin Yang, we're gonna have to take him out at some point. Oh, it's an Oster Jutland, okay. Never mind. Not too afraid of that. We can just turn away like this. He only gets one or two Torps on us. And honestly, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, there we go. He shot the Hawk, so... We're good. Um, Pretty chill first game here. They just pushed in and they lost. And is this guy... I think this guy might have disconnected. Oh, the Hawk's dead. Well, let's see what the Alaska AA guy can, guys. What can it do? What's it, what's it capable of? Let's turn in here sharply. Let's hope we dodge. Turn our guns to the side. Oh, no. We're going to take a hit here, boys. Oh, we're taking a massive hit. We didn't dodge anything there. Ow. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. We have 300 team points, though. I'm not mad at that. We just need to turn our ship, basically. I can avoid the, the Oster's shots. He's still even active. I mean, he, he might have still be, been DC'd. 32 planes. I mean, it's a Pobeda, so of course... We are going to see tons of planes, but... You know, American AA. It's always great. Alright, he's probably coming from the kill shot here. Let's see. Maybe I could get my kill shot off here. Let's prepare it. Prepare the shot here. I think we're very dead indeed. But I, I hope my team can win this. Aw, oh, we don't get the kill rip. Come on, Alaska AA, I believe. I believe. Never mind. Well, GG. 700 HP, 69. There we go, guys. The final number we saw was 69. Is that a curse for this video? I don't know. 36 planes, though, man. Five assists. Can't hate on that. That is pretty much what these ships were built for. They were like support cruiser hunters. So... I say we fulfilled that role. We helped killing the Amalfi, and uh, we, we we caused the ruckus in in the back of the map with this enemy CV in our spawn. I mean, that was that was pretty fun. Okay, so all right, everyone. The next one here is actually a new addition to my tier nine repertoire, and that's the Anchorage. A lot of people have been asking me on stream, "What do you think about the Anchorage?" The short end, the short answer is, I think it's a very solid tier 9. I think it's a 9 out of 10. If, you should, you should, if I was going to use a basic scale, I think it's an 8 tier cruiser in the tier rankings. So that's why we're going to play it. I run a level 12 commander. I, this guy was my Worcester commander. So this is my very first level 12 commander I ever had. And I had him laying around. I forgot I had him because I swapped it out for Kincaid. But this is the build. And... um. You know, Anchorage has torpedoes, so that's why I have Giant Hunter. They're not the best, but they're they're nice to have. And you, if, if you, get, a, you get a smoke as well. So it's it's a pretty crazy ship, to be honest. So let's just see what we can do. Okay. It's a CV game again. Um, This time, though, we, we don't have... I don't think we have better AA than Alaska. I wouldn't, I wouldn't see that. Oh, that's Datamire. What's up, man? And the CV player from last game from our team. So let's hope we win. To be honest, one of the cooler things, or one of the one of the good things about not really playing Blitz as much and or not being as invested is, you know, you just you just have fun when you do play the game. And I know that's my personal thing. Like I get way too invested into video games, guys. What can I say? I'm a gamer. <laughs> no, but for real, it's it's I've really just been very invested into this game, and I think a lot of you can maybe relate. But for me personally, it's nice to come back when, you know, it's just the pure urge to smash some ships in, in low-quality pixels with, with tons of bugs. <laughs> but yeah, you guys have noticed I've uploaded a lot of other stuff. I really do appreciate those who watch it. And at the same time, those of you who don't give a rat's ass about those games, it's totally cool that you don't watch it and just watch my Blitz videos. All the support is very much appreciated nonetheless, guys. Oh, that was a pretty good hit on hit on the kidder there. Um, let's just to, we need to stay pretty safe because there's a lot of torpedoes potentially. But if we just stay behind this island here, 
this one right here, guys. Oh, excuse me, right here. Um, Riga, okay. I think we might... No, he dodged. Okay. Actually, he might get hit by those torps, if we're lucky. I'm gonna leave him alone anyways. We have a Prince Ruprecht moving up, so that's actually quite scary. Yep, we do get the kill. Nice. Alright, he's gonna get, have to be whittled down with HE. Uh, or at least I'm gonna start with HE. Because if I can get an initial fire and he damage controls that, it's gonna make the, you know, taking him down so much easier. He's actually slowing down, so... Maybe we won't have to worry too much. Yeah, he's, he's, he's playing it smart. Never mind, he's moving now. Let's get torpedoes out. There we go. That's a fire on him, so... He seems to know what he's doing. He's going to probably damage control that. Yes, indeed he is. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my smoke so his secondaries can't target me. And we are going to use rapid reload here. We could definitely use HE, but he's just getting smashed by everyone, so I just want to see if I can get the kill. Alright, that is a dead Ruprecht indeed. You can see what I mean. This is a very powerful ship, guys. You have... You feel kind of like a buffalo. You feel... Yeah, you feel like a buffalo with a worth, worse rapid reload, but you get some other skills. Skill sets like torpedoes. Smokes. It's, it's a darn good combination. It's the only American cruiser at high tier that has smokes like this and can literally sit in HE farm and also has the most devastating AP. Consistently devastating AP. Look at these salvos, guys. You're going to get some half pens or full pens. Yep, bunch of half pens, but it still does good damage, you know? All right, I'm going to see if I can snipe this Holland here. Maybe it's he's probably two shots away. Uh, getting a shot on him is a little hard. Gonna use the heal here. Yep, that's a good shot. There's definitely torpedoes on the way as we speak. Ooh, I think they're, they might be coming in this gap here, so I'm actually going to turn this way. Oh, look who we found. Look who we found, guys. The CV is also coming this way. Oh, that's a Seattle right there. Let's just see if we can take him out before we move forward. Maybe they'll push me, you know, past the island so I don't actually have to push towards them. That would be ideal. I don't want to push into three ships. You should kind of avoid that at all costs. And look at that. There they are, guys. They're pushing up now. Coming this way. Oh, things are lining up. Things are lining up. So this Seattle should be dead. Come on. Uh, here we go. They're coming, boys. <laughs> what are you doing, guys? <laughs> Alright, Holland is going to be the first customer up because he's going to die pretty freaking quick. <laughs> yeah, he died pretty freaking quick. Right, we just turned away like this. We don't want to get hit by Yodo Torps. Holland Torps we can deal with. Yodo Torps, that's a bigger issue. There we go. He fired one set, so I'm, I'm feeling brave. We're, gonna, we're probably going to get hit by a couple of those. But so will he. I think our torpedoes might actually just kill him. Yep. Yeah, let's just finish him with the torps, right? He did get one torpedo hit. GG, my guy. And no way. Wait, they actually run out, ran out. Okay, well. I have to do him the old, good old fashioned way, guys. Good old fashioned way. The, uh, the, the renaissance way, medieval way. Alright, there we go. Datamire, GG, guys. 100k, flat out. Almost. That's pretty good. And what, what a good demonstration of how good this ship really is. If you're solid with cruisers, this is a, like I said, 9 out of 10, A tier ship. Alright, my friends. We're starting to see a trend in this video. It's a long one, as you probably can see. We're at the Tulsa here. This is my commander build, for any of you who are wondering. And, um... Yeah, let's just jump right into what the Tulsa is all about. So Anchorage has 12 guns, Tulsa, ha Tulsa has 6. Anchorage gets rank 1 smoke, rank 1, rank 1 rapid reload, rank 1 defensive fire. This thing gets all of them in rank 2, plus it gets radar 2. But your 6-gun ship 
is, you know, it's a six gun ship. You're basically like an incomparable, but with 203 millimeter guns. So you can see your salvos won't have the punch that some of the other cruisers will, but you reload really fast and combined with this. Yeah, you can see this would be very, very dangerous with a 30 second decrease to your reload. 8% fire chance, yada, yada, yada. It's a good ship. It's my elite bonus. And let's just get the elite bonuses of the previous ships so people don't forget. Internal bulk help, bulkhead upgrade and... Uh, where is it? Main, ba main battery firing range. Anyways, moving on. Okay. Well, we get another CV game. Malta again. Time we're play we're facing two Jinans. Okay, one of them's a bot and Slava and a Rhode Island. Mr. Rhode Island is called Avocado. Who doesn't love a little bit of avocado, man? What a great fruit. Anyways, Tulsa here it is. A much smaller ship you can see. Or at least it feels smaller to me, I don't know. Probably isn't. I mean, they're both cruisers, right? So we're gonna go with what are we going with here? Harugumo and Smolens. This is a pretty dead deadly team we got here, boys. I mean, I have the AP dam damage, they have the HE. And I can also spam fires if need be. Hmm. Honestly, I think we have a pretty good chance of this game. We got a Thunderer, Petro. It's bot. But Smolensk and Thunderer and Black Colombo, all three ships should do pretty good damage. Unless they get <laughs> obliterated here, man. I could see that. I could see that happening. Maybe that's the Petro. Yeah, the Petro's getting hit. That's good. Bad CV players go for bots. Or maybe that's me who, who's thinking that's stupid. But like in my in my head, right? If you got a bot, you know he's gonna get shot by the players anyway. The battleship players, cruisers, DDs. So the CV who can reach people that you know everybody can't reach in the beginning because they're trying to get to the point or whatever. It, it, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, you see. Already, we're at 5k damage, we've hit 7 shells. This thing does a lot of damage, um, and we're gonna do this, I think, because Mr. Jinan right there, scary guy. Lambros Katsonis as well. Oh, look at that. We are gonna scoot right in here. Another Citadel. <laughs> Come on, more. Give me more, bro. Give me more. You can see the reload, guys. It's quite fast. Three seconds. So that's four citadels on <laughs> that poor guy. It's a bot, though. I mean, so it's not that it's not that bad for him. Okay, that's the Lambros torpedoes. I'm just gonna keep doing the bow in strat here. He's probably gonna get a ton of fires on me. Yeah, the Lambros is on the way. We're gonna back up. We're gonna back up because a lot of torpedoes are coming. From both of them. Nice! I don't think he got to fire that many. This is what, what I mean, guys. It, if, you, if you're good at cruising, if you know, you know when to bow tank, when to do this and that, it's not a very hard cruiser to do good damage with, or feel, feel impactful at least. And what do I rate this? Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, we dodged, okay. <laughs> what do I rate this? I think I rate this also 9 out of 10. Um, both of them do kind of the same thing, but just different ways of getting there. Um, but Anchorage definitely is easier to play. Because the fact you just have more guns, right? But you can see we have four rapid reloads and... Um, yeah, we just used one here to easily deal with two players and a bot. We did take quite a bit of damage, and we probably will die here. Wait, no. This can't be the end. Come on. All right, we're going to have to endure this fire. Even though I really don't want to. <laughs> All right, let's just hit it there, man. The AA isn't like Alaska, you could see. Wait, no, no, we're, we're finding a Pobeta there. What am I talking about? Alaska would probably also... Yeah, it's a Malta. That's why we can't kill the planes. <laughs> Alright, anyways. I want to go kill that Malta, but at, at the same time, we're not really winning. Because uh, that Shima's going to kill our CV in a second. If you look at the map. Yep, he's... Oh no. <laughs> oh no. 
At least the Smolensk is in range. There's the Malta. I think, that's the, I think Smolensk should really go for B. He really should go for B. Because I'll, I'll, I'll take A. Yeah, I might die though. I might die. But, well, 4k HP. I might die? Surely I will die. <laughs> no, we're going to smoke up here. <laughs> I'm not messing around, bro. I don't want to die. <laughs> that's my last smoke, but I'd rather use the smoke to stay alive now. And then we can heal up. Because if he gets one strike in on me, it's 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 over. Wait, he's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. Stopping though. Alright, here we go, here we go, boys. It is time. We just have to burst this guy before we get killed by the Slava. That's pretty much our only hope. No way the midway actually killed that Shima. That is incredible. We hit the enemy. Enemy aircraft incoming. Target hit. Oh, we'll just hope for the best. Oh my god, we survived the freaking <laughs> Get out of here, Raider. Stop playing CV. Oh, he pushed forward, okay. We hit the enemy. Slava is still not aiming at us, I think. Oh my god, oh my god, he failed. He failed. He failed, let's go! Can he survive? No, I think I'm dead, boys. Wait, 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 wait. We hope. Oh! Oh! Let's go! He ain't never getting this one, baby. You never, you'll never get this. <laughs> Not the craziest damage, but bro, we, we, we survived. That smoke there was fucking clutch, because if he targeted us, we were dead. Nice, dude. 143,000 damage to the Slava, but I mean, when you're, when you're sitting at the back of the map like that, you're never useful. I've always said that, you know, Slava is a great ship and all, but it's very hard to do impactful stuff in, because you're forced to sit back. You probably will get crazy average damage, but... Yeah, winning is more fun. So, moving on. Out of the American ships, Kearsarge is not something for me. And I haven't played Minnesota <laughs> yet, but I'm intending to grind it. We're checking out Iwami here. And this thing, initially when I played it as testing, it was absolute shite. But um, right now, I think they shadow buffed it, and it's pretty darn good. Or Hiromi actually confirmed it's been shadow buffed. So the pen's been better, and something else, I can't remember. But overall, the ship feels great. The ship feels great and we're going to play it today. It is a brawling Japanese ship, guys. Secondary overload, precise aim, and you get torpedoes. This is my elite bonus, and you saw the commander. Let's just jump right in. Okay, so this game is a lot more bot-filled, but I mean, I don't mind. We're playing a secondary ship, and there's no CV either. Um, we're playing versus a guy called Cannabis. <laughs> Like, I, I love some of the names. Cannabis isn't offensive at all. Don't get me wrong, bros. But, um, like, the some of the names that you can have in this game. It, it's hilarious. I will say that, you know, Cannabis is probably the most peaceful and harmful name out of all the names that could be in this game. But, um, <laughs> anyways. The, the, guys, the saga of World of Warship Blitz names continues. It's something I've just been... I've. I think I've been commenting on people's names for the past year or something. It never gets old, man. It never gets old. Alright, anyways. Um, I would go with my Shima, but being the only battleship alone out there on flank with zero cover is not something I want. Except they're all bots. Maybe I do want this. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's also a Baltimore. But he, he's got the captain title, so he could be new. He could be new. We got Yodo over there. He's the only player outside of the Baltimore there. But I mean, the thing with this ship right here is it gets some pretty nasty secondaries. They're pretty high caliber from what I remember. The manuals here, you can see they do quite good damage. We're going to have to check how what, what the caliber is before, sorry, after this game. 
Let's just activate the secondary overload, because why not? Uh, let's see, can we get some shots in? Look at the damage here, guys. 242 from uh, manuals is nice, and they set good fires. I believe they're the 150s or something. Alright, let's see if we can uh, one bop this Nevsky here. Decent, decent man. Honestly, I'm not even mad at that. That's pretty good. Going for the bot farm, baby, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click, <laughs> click, pick this shit out of this bot game. Highest damage numbers ever in World of Wish. <laughs> Wait, how did you not die, brother? What? <laughs> the Drake just took my kill. What the hell, bro? I guess he did the crazy bot turn. Anyways, we're moving on. Uh, we got a Marseille and a Rune. We got this guy out here cooking. I think he just ripped that fat one and now he's, he can't figure out what forward and backwards is. Oh, look at the Yodo here, guys. How is he moving? I think he's moving pretty slow, actually. What was that dispersion? Excuse me. What was that dispersion? Dispersion, bro. Baltimore's just going to cook and bow in the whole time. Where is he? That's the question here. Alright, I'm going to... Uh, wait, there's an Alsace right there. Dude. Oh, I really want to do some stupid stuff here, but we should be smart and kite away. Yodo Torps are probably coming towards us right this second. So let's not, let's not do that. Let's not, you know, play with destiny here. Why is he sitting still? That is a very interesting play, my guy. We didn't get any meaningful damage. We're, I think we're going to go undetected, maybe. Alright, my guy. Cannabis. Oh, torpedoes are perfect. So, that's going to help. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a big help. Thank you. But there's a C-44 here as well. I'm going to use the secondaries, actually. Wait, I'm the only guy... Only big ship left, pretty much. I'm going to have them spread out like this. Okay, we only have one heal left. Um... Luckily, we wait, we're taking their base. Park Champ Shibakazi from the back. That's why I'm so alone right now. That makes sense. He's been kiting around the whole time. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I can't hate on that when it succeeds, right? Okay, we didn't get the right turrets on. Let's see if we can hit this rune, dude. I really, really want to get him out of my sight. 97k so far. Oh, the Yodo is trying to get back. Okay. I don't think I can hate, help him, honestly. I do not think I'm able to help the guy. Maybe Yamato is. I would imagine Yamato kills the rune. So, not the rune, the Yodo. As soon as he's detected again. And I think we might have a um, decision to make here, my guys. Come on, come on, come on. We're going to have to get that rune killed. Like, I, I, I don't know if my, my Yamato has a chance to do it because of the reload. Oh my lord, no. <laughs> That's not fair. I'm pretty sure this guy's just going to go straight the whole time. So, I want to see if I can torp him. He is actually turning a tiny amount. Not much, though. Just activated his speed boost. Oh wait, that's a that's a shot right there. Maybe we turn now. We hope we can take out those two guys. Yoda is the last guy left. Oh no, turn. He killed the Shima though. So we're actually not capping their base anymore. Come on, reload, dude. Reload, reload, reload. Reload, please. Reload, please. And please take him out this time too. My guy's been sitting broadside the whole game, he's still... <laughs> Somehow is not killed. 
Oh my goodness, dude. Yammy. Stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> we have 1100 HP, dude. No, 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 no. This, this Yoto actually... No, he's gonna kill me, guys. 41 HP. 41 HP. Turn. Turn. I see where he's shooting from. Where is, where is he shooting from? Oh my god, we died. We can't- we hit him as well! How, what, what's, what's up with this guy? No way! How much HP does he have? What, what do you mean? We actually win! No way! No way, bro. No way we won that game. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not think we would win that. One point, guys. 180, 886 versus 885. Kudos to the Shimakazi for capping. Where is he? Hey, Ka Ka Kawa? 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 Dude, thank you. You tried as well left then, but... <laughs> like, not enough. And I guess we had a Dimitri Don't score. Interesting game. But yeah, like I said, it's a really fun ship, man. Um, the guns have been made better. The torpedoes you get and the secondaries. It's a super good ship, honestly. Moving on into the German territory here. We are going to be playing three cruisers. It's going to be the Siegfried, Eger, and Schroeder. Schroeder. Wow. German hard at uh, 11 a.m. in the morning. I have Black FDG and Palmer. I don't really enjoy them anymore. Uh, at least Palmer used to be fun. But it just isn't really anymore. I would rather play the Ruprecht or the Schroeder, for example. Black Rune I got randomly. I don't really enjoy that. It's still a funny ship to have. And C44 is a great DD, but it's just not my cup of tea. Here we are with Secret though. We take the secondary gun specialization. Because I, I do think this is good, but it's just going to make you more vulnerable to BBs. That's the camo. I don't know why I have to show that. Uh, it's not that special. Here's my commander, Hildegard. And um, I run this spec for both. A gear and Siegfried. It's mostly spec for Siegfried, but it kind of works with A gear as well. So let's just jump in. And this is my build I'm running, guys. You ha only have six guns, so I would really, I would really advise people to run dispersion, dispersion mod in the first slot. Excuse me, had a burp coming up. Here we go. From a CV game, but okay, it's it's, it's two Manfreds, so I'm not too mad. But there's a Slava. Could be. A big issue for me actually, because he might just focus me down the whole whole game, which would it would make sense for him. Uh, I'm an easy target, and he probably should. To be fair, Nolo, what up, Nolo? All right, we're gonna hold back a bit. I think I want to win this game, but at the same time, I'm not gonna go into the cap and die as the first guy. That is just not in the books. I wonder how long this video is going to end up being, man, because I'm recording each game in, like, it's a separate clip, right? So I don't really have a timer that tells me, but if we're guessing we played three American ships, one Japanese, one... So we played five games so far. That should be 35 minutes or so. <laughs> That's already long, and we're not even... I think we're half... Maybe we're halfway now. We might be halfway, actually. You're sticking in here, boys. Lads, by the way, all you, those who you dropped an anchor in the last video, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, guys. It 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 actually like it, it means quite a bit when people watch the long videos. Um, YouTube does like that, so yeah, appreciate it, guys. Okay, we got a couple of half pens on a Jinan. Oh, was that the Dalian? I can't. Yeah, that must have been the Dalian because the Jinan's right here. Big brain Bob, guys. Everyone. Just hit the Slava. Oh yeah, I, I knew he was going to go for us. But we actually got pretty lucky there. And guys, did you know that angling is actually a thing? So, you know, I feel I feel a little bit, you know, satisfied. Because I had a feeling, I think everybody who's played this game for quite a while had a feeling there must be some kind of angling in this game. There must be. Oh my god, the Slava can't hit for shit, bro. <laughs> But it, apparently it turns out that there is, and thank you to the CIC, the Combat Information Center, all the guys over there, um, you probably know one of him, one of them at least, Hiromi, 
they figured out that when you angle your ship, you do decrease the chance of you getting citadel with full pen. And back in the day, everybody thought that, well, that's not the case. There's no angling, guys. Um, and people, you know, just did it to minimize the silhouette, make it make it harder for people to hit them. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I had to cough there. Um, but no, it actually does improve your survivability. So, guys, remember to angle. Do not forget angling. It's so important. Dude, what is up with this secret right now? Like, I'm getting literally no damage on this Jinan. The f some of the Savos were not perfectly on target, right? But I feel like at this point we should have gotten a little bit more than a couple half pens. There we go. Uh bad. The uh, Isumo is kind of in the way here. I really don't want him to be in that position, but... Watch we watch we get full pens or half pens here. I swear to God. <laughs> Never mind. He was too low for that, but still, we definitely know there's going to be torpedoes coming. So, yeah, there we go. Wonder if that's that's probably Dalian. Yeah, that's Dalian's torps, or maybe Schlieffen. Probably a mix of both. All right, we got the Dalian and the Jinan. That means that we have a lot of lot more freedom of maneuverability here because they're gone. Still have it. Bunch of DDs though. Holy. I'm gonna have to pull away here and go a little bit longer range because Slava's pushed up and Slava freaking hurts. Oh no, the CV's coming this way. Oh no. <laughs> I really don't want that. Oh no, please let me shoot. Oh wait, what's he going for? DD? At this point, I don't really know who's behind uh, the rock there. That's Oh, that's my Fletcher. No low. Oh, no. No low. Got a black shimmer moving up. I think this is the end for our team here, man. The boys are struggling. Unless we can make a, you know an absolutely crazy play here. CV is still doing good. We have a San Luis who's... I think he's cooking a little bit, but, you know, people can always come back. There's still time. I'm going to see if I can focus down this Schlieff in here. Stay here for as long as we can. Let's, uh, let's drop a sonar, because, yeah, I don't want to die. We should also keep it moving, though. We can't sit still, because if we do, this is going to just be easy pickings for these boys. Wait, full speed ahead, we might actually have a chance here. Schlieff is dead. Right, Harugumu is definitely torping me right now. No, we lost the... Oh, we lost the CV. That's that's really bad. Losing the CV was not something I wanted right now. Alright. We're gonna just hold our, our round as long as we can here. That's really all we got. Shima has still has two sets left, but we... Okay, we know Harugumo is completely detorped. No torpedoes on that guy anymore. San Luis is still fighting. We still have... We don't have the Isamo. Okay. Well, that's a problem. They still have a CV doing stuff. But I do have one of those scout planes left, so I can actually help San Luis here if he dies. Yep, he's dead. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no, he's... No way, he's still alive. I need to get this kill. Turn, 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 turn. Just turn. Just turn. No! Oh! <laughs> we almost got the kill there. Yeah, that was still, still rough. Still a good game. It was a little bit rough, but... What can you do? That was actually, um well played by the Slava like he he moved with his team you don't see that very often rare moment guys <laughs> we've got a Slava in the wild pushing up <laughs> now moving on to the A gear and um, this is basically like the, the same type of deal as Secret except you have more smaller guns and you're more secondary focused 
this this thing gets secondary overload too. I believe it was actually the first ship to implement it into Blitz. But you only get 305 millimeter guns, whereas Siegfried is like a mini Ganice now with 380 mils. But it's still a pretty decent ship, actually. I've always enjoyed it. You don't get manual secondaries, which I I think is unfair for a ship that's supposed to be a secondary ship. But you do get pretty darn good autos, 127 mils, and you're very good when you're kiting away, because you can see in the front, you just have your two main batteries, then these two secondaries on either side. But in the rear, you get an extra secondary turret. So your DPM, secondary DPM, kiting is really good, or if you're reversing towards the enemy. I take secondary gun specialization, and I have the Hildegard camo, which gives you secondary battery firing range. Let's just jump right in. Oh yeah, sorry, before that. My main battery modification is actually mod 1. Why? Because I like turning a lot, and I want my guns to follow my turns, because I have to use both sets of torpedoes as well. This thing gets torps, and they are definitely helpful if you're brawling. All right, here we go. We get another CV game. Interesting. Uh, not that many DDs, which is nice. Let me get a drink. A swig of my drink here. Sleeping Giant. This is a good map for us, actually. Why? Because there's a ton of islands, and we're gonna need these islands. I actually have a plan. I haven't tried this before. I haven't gone this way, around the um, side of this. Island next to A. I think we should do that. I think we should do that, actually. Would be fun. Alright, let's see here. We got planes moving in to spot here. That's kind of annoying. The fighters went this way. But only the fighters. He, uh, oh, he's, he sent them both sides. I forgot it's a main thread. He has two. Well, we couldn't have avoided it then. But we do actually go undetected for, please don't spot me here on the way back, please. I'm begging you guys. Nice. The torpedoes here, I forgot to mention, they're actually different than Siegfried's. They get a little bit more range, um, so they're kind of like Palmer and Preussen torpedoes. What else has 7 kilometer torpedoes? I can't remember. Oh, scheisse. Oh, scheisse. There's literally Nabuki pushing this way, and I think, oh, he's about to... What's he about to do? I have to use my sonar here, because if this guy fires torpedoes as we move out, <laughs> we're dead. Oh my god, there's a clip air as well. Oh no, 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 no. We have to move out here. Manfred is here too? Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. Everybody's here. We literally found the hive, guys. We found the hive. But yeah, we can see the secondary... DPM on the rear is quite devastating as this guy. Look. Yes, you see? I don't know if he's gonna move forward. He is actually. No way. <laughs> well, he survived the torpedoes. I'm just gonna keep turning. Stop, turn, stop, turn. Make it very hard for his torps to do anything. Yeah, there we go. I'm very happy we stopped and turned. Let's stop and turn again. <laughs> there we go. You can see he still did a ton of damage to me, guys. I'm not skip scat. What's it called? Scott free, scat scat free. Oh my god, shit free. Yeah, we we did get a lot of shit hit <laughs> slow on thrown on to us. Oh my god, dude. Sorry for not being able to speak. <laughs> I feel a little bit overwhelmed. I have to run away now because like the CV could just kill me right now <laughs> that's the problem with a gear man it's it's a cruiser so you're not really tanky at all you don't get a special heal or anything like that you just you just you have what we have nice mr rhode island did it well that was the most interesting game i mean it's not over yet but i will still say you i, I got to showcase the the rear dpm of these secondaries <laughs> we almost killed the clever entirely off of that <laughs> Remember auto secondaries, guys. Just secondary overload and, and 127 mil auto secondaries. It is a quirky ship, it really is, but still, I love it. If, if something's secondary focused, I'm a sucker instantly. I want it. I need to play it. <laughs> oh.
All right, we got Mr. Krabs in that Yamato. I don't really know if I want to... See, the thing is, we're not... Like, we haven't secured this win yet. Because these two guys seem to be in a little bit of trouble. I think, actually, if I shoot now, he's looking completely the other way. I, I could actually eat pretty safely shoot here, I think. Or maybe even shoot the CV. Alright. I don't know if he's gonna come this way. Oh, Mr. CV, I really want to take shots at you. Yeah, we will. We'll save the overload for the Yami. Nice. I think he's a goner. Mr. CV... Yeah, I'm gonna let the other guys take it. Here we go, let's just activate the secondary overload. They should be able to shoot, right? We we're, we should be close enough now, Aegir. Is, is it the island? I think Wargaming might not have programmed that island correctly, because I would imagine we could shoot over, over, over that. Yeah, that's something they have to change, bro. That island's definitely tall enough, or sorry, sh low enough for us to shoot over it. Yeah, as soon as we cleared the island, it started shooting. I'm gonna report that. It's a bug. I think that's a stupid, stupid game design. Completely ne negates the, you know, what a secondary ship wants to do. So, it would be nice if they changed that. I mean, look at the island, dude. I can <laughs> did practically see over it the whole time. Alright. 60k damage. You know what? I'm gonna go out and say, if, if we could shoot over that island with our secondaries, we would have killed them there. Still won the game. GG. I haven't, I haven't seen that portrait before. I guess I must have missed that event. Maybe it was when nobody could log in. Bottom. Ha 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 ha. Now, on to the final tier 9 German ship here. Uh, not the final ship of this video. Don't worry, guys. It's the Admiral Schröder. And um, this thing is just like, it's a combination of all the funny German quirky cruisers into one. You get, what is it? 305 millimeter guns in kind of Admiral Hipper. Hipper configuration turrets you get manual secondaries that are 150 millimeters so that's mines turrets i'm pretty sure that's mines turrets and then you get secondaries with 128 so it's a pretty pretty busted package with speed boost and secondary overload three so yeah gnarly gnarly thing i take of course secondary gun specialization i'm running the historical camo don't have the other one, unfortunately. I would have run it, because I'm pretty sure it gives you better secondaries. We're running this build, same deal as the Aegir slash Alaska. I want to get faster reload, and I want to be able to turn a lot to dodge. This is the commander we're running, because she has the Close Quarters Combat Expert Plus. And also Victorious Charge Plus It's very nice to have, because it just boosts your HP a little bit in a, in a brawl or something. Anyways, let's get in, man. I'm excited to play this thing. We get an instant Q and no CV. Okay, this this could be pretty good. And it's on Aurora. Oh no. <laughs> Aurora, bro. This map. I don't know. I <coughs> I don't hate this map. It's just not my favorite. I think the lighting is too dark on these maps. And you know, the funny thing is Wargaming asked us for us CCs for gameplay, right? That they could use in their advertisements teasers and stuff like that and in the in the requirements they said we couldn't have gameplay on this map so like me and red were like bro why is it this dark then if it's a problem for you 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 want us to not feature this map in our in the content because it's too dark well just fix the lighting god damn it oh man Oh, anyways, let's see here. Jinan. What are we doing here? Should I just say hello? Maybe they're... Bit, bit, who are these guys? Wait, what are you... Not, no, no, guys. What are you doing? Oh, he's torping. I thought he was trying to block me. <laughs> I don't know why my instant thought is somebody's trolling me, but it just is, guys. I can't help it. Alright, we're, we're not going to use the secondary overload, because it's just a bot. And I would much rather just, uh, oh yeah, we, we definitely see the Rogolo. Alright, there we go. Rogolo is out and about. I will activate the overload for this guy, because he's actually scary.
Oh, we direct hit him? No way. And then we do that nice little island trick here where nobody can hit you because you're turning so fast. Boom. And uh, this guy should be pretty toasty toasty now. Yup. Nice. Mr. Dessert. <laughs> what? That's a clever name. Dessert. <laughs> what up, Dessert? No way, dude. I thought it was dirt. Dessert. That's how you pronounce it. That's a really clever name, actually. Like, it, look, it looks kind of, you know, cringy, like a teen edgy emo teen would make their username on MySpace, but... <laughs> yeah. Dessert. No, no, it's a cr cringy emo teen. Definitely girl. It's like, I don't know. I, would, I, I wouldn't call myself dessert anyways. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't know. 2024, anything can happen. Alright, let's see if we can... Wait, I, I loaded HE in my main battery. That It was supposed to be in my secondaries, guys. <laughs> Don't laugh. Okay, well, he, he's definitely dead. Dessert just absolutely obliterating. <laughs> With sugar on top, baby. <laughs> oh, we got it. Okay, we got us a, a, a full squad of homies over there. Oh, no. Um... Okay, so we have a Vermont. I think I'm going to wait a little bit for him to get closer, because if I just go in there now, I'm dead. I'm actually just going to wait for the Vermont to shoot, like, either the Colombo or the Hindenburg a couple times. Because that's really what we need. Oh, I'm still, I still have HE loaded like an idiot. Well, I'm going to get spotted here in a second, so let's wish me luck, boys. You know what, I'm gonna activate the secondaries now, because the Hindenburg is actually kind of scary. And we can probably survive him, if we're, uh, if, if we're lucky here. Colombo missed, so... We can't actually do this, I think. I'm actually gonna swap to the AP. Get the speed boost rolling, we got a nice citadel there, that's really, really useful. A, and a fire too. Oh, dessert, he's going to dessert! You come in with the sugar on top. Cowabunga. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. <laughs> this guy is crazy. Dessert, man. Palumbo, can you can you give him a slapping? He's taking all the kills. Nah, he deserves it, man. We had we had the main course. He brought the cert. Damn, those blind shots are damn satisfying to hit. Well, we have full HP, guys. Um, I say... Screw the establishment. We're going in. Wait, he's firing at... Oh, he's firing at dessert. I saw a damage control there, so... I'm just gonna stop right here, because it seems the Z-52 is shooting at me, so he probably fired Torps. And if he's turning broadside to me like this, that, that is an indication that he's willing to take a risk. Great enough. And that's usually torpedoes, guys. Now we're gonna indulge him. Of why you don't do that versus me. Yeah, you see? Oh my god, the predictions are unbelievable. <laughs> Dude, these DDs have been taking all my kills. We're rolling here with 100, 124,000 damage, and these DDs are out here stealing every one of these kills. Ah, there ain't no kill steal in this game, man. It's just kill securing. GG team, GG. Another banger, bro. Another banger. Like I said, Admiral Schroeder is like the brainchild of many different secondary ships. And it just it just turns out to be absolutely fantastic, man. Fantastic. Alright, guys. Your boy is here at the Dalian. We've seen quite a few of these in the in the playthrough. What up, Daz? Hey Bob. By the way, guys, did you know this? So Mr. Black Tulip here asked in the chat, um, how many I need a different name are there? I thought there were only I thought there could only be one. And I I found out through Wargaming, I think we CC's asked. It's for people with offensive names like AH. Um you can probably guess who AH is. Uh, first name Adolf. Last name, you know. And um excuse my verb. And uh, that's why. So if you have or if you 
see somebody with a name that's I need a different name, it's Wargaming telling them you need a different name. And Daz, what up, my man? What up, my man? All right, let's get right in, guys. Dalian right here. Prelude to the Jinan line, I would say. Gets an insane amount of smokes, torpedo reload booster, and torpedoes. But the torpedoes aren't that deadly. And they're not deep border either. So you can hit DDs with this. I take main battery traverse speed. We're running the Silk Road Dawn camo. And we are playing with Sasheng Bing. This is my setup. And here we go. Let's jump right in. Oh my god. One, two, three, four red ships. Interesting. Here we go. We're playing. Okay, we got we got a Ming Chong. We got a Colbert. Hot, okay, we, we got a decent team here. I feel I feel pretty confident with this. We got banana flam base. <laughs> oh my lord, dude. I think we're reaching the end here soon of the ships as well. There's not too many left now. Um I could skip. Or I I couldn't, you know, I, I could also have taken some of the other ones I do enjoy. Like, what was it? It was, yeah, Kronstadt. I was looking at it. But to be honest, Kronstadt is a pretty boring ship compared to a lot of the other ones that I enjoy. That doesn't mean it's a bad ship. In fact, I actually think it's one of the S-tier cruisers, premium cruisers of tier 9. Some people might disagree, but I've, I've been playing it for quite a few years now. And I never had a bad experience in that ship. It always performs so for that reason we're not playing it because <laughs> it's kind of boring it's just like a slava for cruisers at tier 9 pretty much a little bit more tanky than cruisers normally are though all right you can see we have very good concealment uh, we have very good maneuverability and our aa is also quite decent so what i'm going to try to do is actually let's just do that and then we will slow down the engines here. He didn't get a lock on us, so... Or maybe he did, actually. Yeah, he might have gotten a lock from when we were spotted for a second. All right, we got this Henry out here. I do want to focus him most of the time, I think. Stuff that's pushing in is your bread and butter, pretty much. All right, Mogador is very much easy target here. Let's see if we can just get an assist before the torps hit. Yeah, yeah, baby. Nice. We got a Republic. We got a Brest. A Brest. <laughs> oh, if you if you're watching out of context, one of those. If you're like your your you know your family members next to you listening, we got a Republic and we got a Brest, dude. What the hell? Like you got you would be thinking to yourself, what is this guy watching? Who is this man talking about Republics and Brests? I mean the city of Brest, guys. What are you talking about? Are you perverts? <laughs> One of the things with this ship is you can really easily get fires. It's it's quite the fire starter, just like Jinan is. And let's see, can we can we maybe get some shots on this Henry here? I would absolutely love that. We might have to go stealth here. That was a little bit a little bit scary what just happened there. We took a bunch of damage. Oh, the Henry's Doing good shots, nice. Yeah, we should really watch out for that Henry. Honestly, we have to respect his uh, his power. He's a pretty dangerous ship. Moving out now, though, that's good. Oh, he's still shooting at the fucking smoke. No way. This guy might be a true legend who shoots at smokes because it's pretty easy to hit people in smoke. Scary guy, but he's he's taking tons of fires, so. I got Banana Flambe in the middle of the map. We got Shimmer right there. All right, cool. Let's see, we maybe can get it. Nice, we got a hit, boys. We get, we get an assist. Why do I care so much about assists? For those of you who want to grind the Legend League every month, getting assists is going to be something you want to go for because it gives you trophies. So if you can't get a kill, just get one shot on them and make sure, you know, you help your team get the kill. Getting an assist is just as valuable. There we go. That's a dead Henry for sure. Now we can focus his friend. And actually, because we are somewhat loaded with smokes, we can just chill and uh, do another one of these. 
smoke smoking sessions here, boys. Smoke sesh. Do we have to be a little bit careful though? Like the, the Delaware could do nasty things to us. So could this guy. So could the anatomically exclusive um, body part that is featured in females. <laughs> what am I talking about? Talk about the breast, guys, if you're wondering. <laughs> uh, we're, we got pretty good damage right now, though. I don't mind this. Wither, okay. Okay, dudes. Can we survive this? Please? Yo! Delaware, though. Oh, guys, we're gonna have to do a gamer move here. Let's see if we die. We're definitely gonna get... Actually, we are undetected right now, so he, he can't drop his planes on us. He can't send them out, though. That's always possible. It's a Vermont over there, dude. And we're... Okay, we're only two ships left. I actually have to get my shit straight. We, we, we have to pull this out of the hat. Yamato is doing good, though. So... It's not so bad, to be honest. I have to wait. For this... I, I hope he doesn't... I really hope he doesn't have any planes left. Because if he does... I'm screwed. Alright, if he decides to back up here... Anti-aircraft gun on full alert. We're gonna go for the Delaware here, because he's definitely... Dangerous. I hope I'm. I hope I can survive this by turning this way. Torp should deal with him. I think. Yeah. All right. Now we just farm this Vermont. Now we can get a ton of damage on this guy. Actually, so. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Eight seconds for the next one here. Oh, buddy. It's like a dance, boys. It's like a dance with the devil when you're fighting a Vermont like this. You never know if he's aiming at you, because in Blitz, it doesn't really tell you if the turrets are aiming at you. They can instantly turn around. So, <laughs> scary stuff. 26 seconds left, though. I want to count the damage of all our games, see how much damage we got. Oh, buddy. Buddy, that's some good damage again. 157, 160. Please let me get this kill, though. Come on. No, it's a crack. No! <laughs> we almost got the crack, bro. Oh, okay. 165,000, though. Shit ain't bad. Like I said, Dalian is a really, really good ship. It's a very powerful ship. And if you get stupid enemies, sorry, not no offense to the enemies, but if you push into it, then you will get wrecked. Ah, I'm very sad we didn't get the Kraken there. We've been robbed of two Krakens, guys. Well, not robbed. I don't feel robbed at all, actually. Alright, so, moving on to the next in line here, guys. We're, we're reaching the end. I only, I only got two more ships after the Paolo Emilio. It's the Paolo Emilio. I run a, a pretty... Busted commander on this guy. We're running Paolo Town the Rebel, and um, this is my Rogolo commander. Completely spec for Rogolo, but it works just as well for Paolo, which is awesome. We're running main battery traverse because these guns turn very slowly, and I want to be able to turn them when I'm rolling DDs. Or if I just want to get my guns on target if I have to finish off a battleship. We have rudder and speed boost. The elite bonus I'm running is there it is, is the gun one. You don't want to take the torpedo one. And you can see we get speed boost 4, so that's why we're running speed mod as well. So let's just hop right in, hope we get a tier 8 game. I would love that. And I just want to give a shout out to Mr. Mile Kicic. What up, man? What up, what up? What's up, amigo? Much love out to the people in the, in the world chat today. It's been very nice here on Europe this morning. I mean, morning games are always chill, right? At least in my opinion. 
what what ups amigo i should have said what's up but he gets it he gets it anyways all right we're playing versus elgr here so this is gonna be very rough because they, they're gonna probably focus probably not not me in the beginning but once the minotaur is dead i'm imagining that i'm gonna be hit pretty hard by the the medford here if i can get a kill on something i'll be happy Ooh, we're playing versus saitama i didn't know you, you played the game very old fleet mate of mine from Corsairs. Good guy. Okay, well, the fact that it is a CV game makes this very much hard because, well, you see our concealment. It's almost identical to our gun's range. So that means we have not that good concealment. You can see it's about 7 kilometers here. One way you can look at, you know, if, you, if your stuff lines up kind of, you can see your maximum gun range. The outer circle kind of lines up maybe there's a little bit over a kilometer between these two lines so oh yeah we're already seeing this the planes ah oh, i did i don't i just don't want to get spotted that's actually the whole the whole thing the reason i'm going this way is i want to i want to be as undetected as i can for as long as possible and that's not very easy with a cv hey we're just Closely moving this way. I am going to save my speed boost for whenever we see somebody. Because that is literally the only chance we have to like to close the distance is with the speed boost. Yes, we go plus 40 knots without it. But you, you have, I think it's about 15 seconds or something. 10 seconds with the smoke. Can't quite remember, but it's not long. And you don't want to activate it too early because you want to have time to turn your ship as well. Looks like this minnow is, um, he's brave. He's a very brave minnow. He just smoked up, moving full broadside. Stevo here. HMS Stevo. You know what, man? I, I respect it. Uh, I, I, I would love the fact that he's actually pushed up with me. Or I'm, I'm, I guess he's, I'm the one who's pushed up with him. Like he's, he's ahead. And we have a battleship behind us. Not doing great, to be fair, but... This game's not looking completely over. That's torpedoes from a DD, so... Something is around here. Okay, wait, 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 guys. We actually get us a... Get ourselves a... Customer right here. So, 30 seconds on the speed boost. Yeah, 8 seconds. It's not a lot. Just gonna move. Move, move, move. My cat's on my desk right now, guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what to do about that. He's in front of the monitor he's on my keyboard right now please don't press any meaningful buttons mr bismarck i would love it if you didn't mr bismarck could you stop we killed the alsace cat on the table he's now in my lap bro what are you doing oh yeah he's he's gonna be out a little bit now guys he wants attention he's a very uh <laughs> you gotta be very attentive he's a very uh, attention seeking cat let's just call it that I am going to use my speed boost here. Oh, sorry, my, my smoke here because I do want to sustain myself. No, Bismarck, we can't do it right now, bro. We're, we're gaming. Alright, the Slava, I think, is what I'm going to go for, actually. Oh, wow, he loaded HE for this. He actually loaded HE for this. <laughs> GG for that. <laughs> Bismarck, stop screaming, bro! It's it's twelve it's twelve p.m. My guy, you're you're not gonna die. You're fine. You're fine, bro. You're fine. <laughs> my cat is insane, dudes. Well, I think we're dead here. I do think we're very dead here. There's not much I can do in this situation. Requesting assistance, Crot, Mister Crot. Ah, Slava got me there. GG Admiral Sismus. GG. <coughs> ELGR playing their Slava CV combination as always. Nothing's changed. Blitz hasn't changed. <laughs> GG though. I'm gonna move on because uh, there's no point in waiting. Alright, um, we're gonna be playing the Honingen now and I'm gonna see if I can get in the game as quick as I can. <sighs> I don't know if you guys can hear my cat. He's literally just screaming into the mic. Dude! What is your problem, Bismarck? <laughs> no! Is there something you want to tell the people here? 
Is there something you want to tell the people, my man? You have your chance now. What do you want to say, Bismarck? <laughs> what do you want to say, dude? <laughs> what do you want to say that's so urgent? <laughs> Why? I'm trying to record a video, man. You go over here now, okay? We'll we'll talk in like I need I literally need two games, bro. Two games. Oh my god, here what's up guys? It's morning over here. I I haven't dressed up or anything for this. <sighs> Anyways, we lost that game. GG to the uh, enemy team. Um the Honingen, it's a Friesland without smokes, and it gets some airdrops instead. So I use my D7 Provincial Commander. We get Sonar, DFA 3, Speed Boost, and this airdrop. I run Main Battery Reload, and uh, yeah, this is my Commander build right here. Pretty si simple stuff. Almost level 11 now. We're just waiting for that. And um, literally, he's standing on the floor looking at me. Man, how way to make somebody feel bad, bro. You're guilt tripping like crazy right now. Never experienced so much guilt trip in my life. <laughs> Seriously, something else. Could I die? Die, Bismarck. Stop. <laughs> oh my god, this cat is crazy. This kid is crazy, bro. Oh my god, we actually got a game in Tier 8. I think that's that's this is one of the first games we have in Tier 8 today. I, like I said, it is 12 it's noon right now, so people are at work and stuff. But yeah, I have my day off today, so that's kind of nice. Having your day off on a Monday is... I can't complain. Now Bismarck's literally hitting my foot. No. No. No, Bismarck. As a sailor of the Kriegsmarine... You should know that a no means a no. Discipline is in your blood. I know you're not. You're not actually. In the, you you weren't actually in the Creeks Marine. Thank thank God for that. You would be a very old cat, man. <sighs> okay. Well, the Horning in here, guys. Very fun ship. You only get one airdrop, but it is a pretty good airdrop. Solid size. I'm pretty sure it's the DCP size. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It must be the DCP size. We also have an Almirante Grau. Mr. Peter here. Actually a very good boat now that it got a little bit of a buff. Not very good, but it's definitely more, more fun than it usually was when it came out. Alright, we're gonna use... Uh, actually, that's not gonna get anything, I think. Unless the, the album, yeah, unless the album all stops, which I don't think he will. We're gonna go for this Adriaticos because he's 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 quite scary actually. We don't want to fight him. I don't see his torpedoes. No, they're right there. Perfect. We dodge them. Too high. We need to aim a little bit lower. I think there's the spot. All right, we um didn't really get that much damage there, but we we definitely scared him away, which is also a, a nice nice thing. I want to focus down the Albemarle once he gets closer, but let's just take this guy for now. You can see the guns are just really, really easy to shoot with. They have a fair amount of travel time, not too much. They have decent shell arcs. It's just an overall very, very easy platform to play with, the Friesland-type ships. And I think that's why so many people just love them. It's very easy, you know, there's only one thing you have to do, with that's shoot. And then smoke up every once in a while, right? I think he why not? yeah, he will actually die to that. Nice. I have a BB ahead of us. What's that? A hawk? Oh buddy. Yeah, let's let's do the hawk here. 
Please damage control this. Oh, wait, the Albemarle is actually shooting at us. Oh, he stopped. No. I really wanted him to get hit by those bombs. No, none of them hit, actually. Wow. A little bit sad. Well, we'll just have to use the guns then. Not the worst, though. You can see. The two-second reload, sub-two-second reload, it's it's pretty good. It's, I think it's 1.6. So obviously he's got his damage control running now, and I hope we can get a fire before it gets away from me, or... Or I don't have an opportunity to shoot at him. Alright, there we go, that's a fire. Nice. Double fire, too. Hey, we get the triple wargaming. Is it about time Bob gets a triple fire? Right here, come on. Yes? Oh yeah, baby. I think, I think he's done. There it is. We got what we asked for. Okay, so... What else do we got? We got, I think that's a Sejong, yep. And a battleship. I want to go for the BB. I want to get as much damage as possible. Because <laughs> so I'm a greedy guy. That's all I can say. A okay, Sejong. Oh, we have a Kagero as well. See, we can load some HE AP for this guy. Alright, never mind. I think the Minnesota is pretty close to dying here, so let's... See, we can maybe... Snag the kill? Who knows? Maybe snag the kill if we're lucky here? I'm gonna go get AP back in because I think the Kagero is gonna be visible in a second here. Oh yeah, that's a dead Minnesota. Definitely. Alright, Sejong it is then. Boom shakalaka. Oh, hello, hello, hello. There he is. Vladimir e MXV. Alright, there we go. Mr. Sejong is just shooting me. I think I might actually die to the guy here. I think we have to peel off. Back away. Bismarck, please, bro. I'm recording video, man. All right, I think we are in the in in the the final stretch here, boys. Can we do it? We can. And we got a kraken finally, bro. First kraken of this video. We we should have had a couple more. I say should, but I mean, it's first come first serve, right? Oh 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 no, bro, Bismarck, bro. Yeah, lay down, wait up, just just hang around. Dad's, do Dad's done recording in a very short amount of time. Our team captured the area. Does any of your cats act like this, guys? Because I feel like that is um, some absurd behavior. He's not a kitten, bro. He's like, he's almost two. I guess that's why it's, the, it's the crazy years, bro. Crazy years of a cat. I've heard it's between three months and two years. Okay, this Albemarle has literally been doing a CV strat, reversing to the <laughs> back of the map the whole game. Then he gets killed <laughs> by a DD. He was in, an imposter CV, guys. That was a CV player, maybe. Maybe that was a CV player playing his <laughs> cruiser for the first time at tier 8. <laughs> now, this is the final ship of this episode, guys. It's been a long video. I don't know how long we're running right now, but probably an hour plus, I would imagine. This is the Hector. I got this uh, very luckily from the birthday event. I wanted to get keys for the Edson because I really actually wanted the Edson. And you saw the 87 crates I opened. Um, I'm not mad that I'm not getting it, but I, uh, I, I do think the event should be a little bit more fair. 0.1% um, chance for an Edson is pretty bullshit. But some of the other crates were pretty good. And I got the Hector with some leftover gold I had, so very happy with that. Um, Yes, I bought this port, guys. I'm an idiot. I purchased this for 6,000 gold. And it's it's pretty cool looking. Anyways, Hector, it's a very interesting ship because the first ship with Crawling Smoke. Crawling Smoke is where you have to be half speed 
to be concealed. You get some AA, some sonar, deep water, to not deep water, single file torpedoes. And uh, we have the Shamrock Camo here, Irish Emerald. I think it's, yeah, that's what it's called. Running Escort Specialization, and the commando I'm running here is level 6 only because I just got the ship. So there you go. That's my build right now. I'm running AA, actually. I don't know why. Uh, just damn. <laughs> Let's see if we get a CB game if it actually does something. Well, here we go. We got a CV game like we asked for. It's 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 a Taiho, so this is kind of like the perfect uh, the perfect target for our AA. Anyway, so this thing wants to spam HE, guys. It's an HE spammer, and the way you use the crawling smoke, I I I like to do it at least, is by you know slowly creeping up on somebody who is using their damage control. It just use the damage control. That's when you pop the smoke. You get a bunch of time to just sit there and farm away. Get your torps off, get your HE salvos fired away, and, and then they should be dead, right? You can see you get 8 torpedoes per side. Excuse my cat again. 8 torps per side, which is very nice. Single fire, and uh, the, the widespread is quite quite crazy, so you do have to single fire them. But you can see the... It's kind of like they have dispersion, these torpedoes. You can see how wide it is. This is the single fire, so very interesting. I guess that is what the Commonwealth ships get, because I know the Vampire 2 and the Huron. Maybe the Huron actually gets very, you know, thinly coned torpedoes. I can't remember. But I know the Vampire doesn't, doesn't have the most accurate either. Okay, man. Um, this is the final game, dude. Enemy Pat's here again to look at me. There you go. I mean, I have to, I have to close the door. Like, it, but I have to record a video for seven point four very, very shortly. So, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we got a fire on the San Luis very, very early there. That's very nice. Wait, the Tayo is pushing up. We're gonna, we're gonna take advantage of that. As I don't know why my reticle is shaking like that. Alright, St. Louis is not on fire anymore, so I'm guessing he used the DCP. There we go, that's very lucky getting another one like that. And another one, wow. Alright, dude, I'm literally gonna close the fucking door, bro. Give me a sec, guys. I have to. I have to close the door because I. <laughs> yeah, no, no, man. You need to shut. You can't scream like that. You lose privileges if you just scream. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'll be back in two minutes. Oh, my God. And where are we going now? Our team captured the area. Literally have to <laughs> fucking deport my cat in the middle of the game. Yeah, he's standing out the door screaming right now. I really hope you guys can't hear it through the through the door. If, if you can, that's an issue, man. I have to completely soundproof this room. All right, but well, we do have a bunch of ships to farm here, which is nice. That's a fire. Oh, didn't mean to press that button, but he is actually coming this way, so why not? Oh my god, he's guys, he's trying to open the door. All right, nice. Our gearing just took out the Taiho. Oh my guys, what the fuck? I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't intend for this video to, to, to be about um him, my cat. But somehow he has a way to you know make everything about him. Is this how it is? Is this how it feels having kids? I don't know, man. It's definitely interesting. Let's just launch these in case he turns a little bit or whatever. Uh we haven't used the smoke yet, but literally nobody's shooting at me, so I don't feel very much inclined to use it. San Luis is about to get completely, you know, sandwiched by these guys. The GK is also pushing. Maybe I imagine we get a triple fire just, you know, 
Because we're we're a good boy. We we've been a good boy, right? Nah, not no no triple fire. Anti -aircraft gun on full well, this one though is a time where we should use the smoke. Let me show you guys how powerful this can be. Alright, so the set 52 is coming right here. Alright, so he's dead. Very nice. And that is the GK dead as well. Yeah, you can see the crawling smoke has its uses. Uh, right now, whereas I'm not moving, you know, it's still shot us, actually. That was a pretty good blind shot. But, you know, it's, you have to keep moving for this to work. And now it's run out, so yeah, obviously it won't work now. Oh, come on. We can get it, right? We can get it. He doesn't have a shot. He doesn't have a shot yet. There we go. GG. And that's the final game of this video, man. If you have made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed making this video, actually. Playing my favorite Tier 9 ships. And um, I, I guess the next special is going to be Tier 8. Um, it's not going to be special. But, yeah, let's see how, how long you guys want to watch for. And, I mean, the cool thing about long-form content is you can always tune back in. Have it going in the background or something else. I had a lot of fun today. It's good having fun in Blitz. Feels awesome, man. Some of these are some of my favorite tier nines. Tell me what your favorite tier nine is, um, or what your most hated tier nine is. Could be anything. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching. My name has been Bubloon, aka Pabloon. Seven point four is coming out soon, so stay tuned, guys. There is going to be stuff content on the radar um, for the game, but um, it's under NDA. Can't say much. My name is Ben Bubbling, aka Pabloon, and I am signing out. Have a great day, guys.